something's after that bait right there. I think he's got it. We're gonna reel down on that one and see what happens. Yep. Yeah, we got fish number one on right here. First one of the morning. Y'all, I'm drifting out here this morning. Not very fast. I'm moving at like 0 0.1, 0 0.2. I'm going down this ledge. Uh, I'm currently in 57 feet. The depth's gonna vary though. From about 50 to 60 feet as we go along through here. Kind of got to adjust your baits up and down, but I'm working this stretch of this ledge and got some skipjacks suspended off bottom. I got this one here hooked up. This one ate one of the body pieces. Well, he's just a little one, but skunk's gone, people. Skunk's gone. I'll bring it in like that. He's hooked through the bottom of the jaw there. It's a, <laughs> I don't want to wind up that hook in the first thing. That's a sure way to ruin a fishing trip, it's getting a hook through the thumb. Boy, it's all wrapped up in that line somehow. There we go. Goodness gracious. All right. All right, y'all. First one. Woo. He's ready to get out of here. First one is in the kayak. Let's get rebaited with another piece of skipjack and keep making our way down this ledge. There's another boat down here setting off this point, so I'm not gonna drift down too much further. I don't wanna encroach on anybody out here, so we'll drift, just keep basically just drifting down this ledge until I get a reasonable distance from them, and then we'll come back up and we'll just do it again. I'm gonna make multiple passes along this ledge today. I'm just working kind of that deepest break line right where it starts to come up off the river bottom up onto this ledge it's kind of those fish highways and I'm just going to keep working it all morning long out here until either the heat or the weather runs me off we got some storms and heavy rains that's supposed to come through early this afternoon you know how the weather report is it's always kind of spotty could move in early could move in late or not show up at all who knows so it could potentially run me off but otherwise We'll try to get some fish out here this morning before it happens. There's our next bait right there. Just another piece of skipjack. Drop it back down there and see if we can pull up on it. Oh, that front rod got hit again. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, that one's going to pull some drag now. That's a little better fish than the last one, folks. That one's going to pull some drag now. I've been getting just pestered with dinks down through here. As we've made our way along, it's just been tap, tap, tap. Down there just gnawing and chewing on my baits, but not big enough to get hooked up. This one here, this one here is definitely a little better quality. This again is on that, that body piece that we put on after that last fish. Oh yeah, goodness man, he's pulling. He's just kind of just sitting there with it. Now he's now he's gonna take off. Now he's gonna take off. This is the one I was hoping to hook into today. You know, a little better quality. This section of the river I'm on, I have fished a lot in the past. Now I haven't fished it yet this year. And I don't think I got down here last year, but once we get into this time of year here, this you know, late July, post-spawn, this section of the river has served me well, historically. So I wanted to get down here and try it again this morning. I'm glad I did right now at this moment. That boat that was sitting down here on the end of this point, they've gone. So I'm gonna be able to just keep drifting on through. There's another boat up here in front of me, or, or behind me, I should say. I'm kind of making the same pass that I'm working down through here. I don't know what they'll do. We may end up just kind of leapfrogging each other all day down this ledge.
I haven't seen them catch anything yet as we've been working our way along, but they're about to see me pull up this hoss right here, so probably gonna boost their confidence when they see it. Golly bum, he's taking, man. Yeah, buddy, I've been waiting on some of these fish. It's been a long few weeks here dealing with the spawn i did get that one monster during the spawn but it's been mostly just smaller fish which is typical but we in that time of year now the spawns wrapped up and it's time to time to get back to it folks we ought to be getting pretty close on this one i think he's got my back line here which is fine I never mind a tangle on a monster. Yeah, we about to get him. We about to get there, folks. I promise it's coming. Hopefully the weight is worth it for you. I know it is for me. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good one right there, buddy. <laughs> Got that camera all wet. <laughs> yeah, that one's mad at us, ain't he? He wanted him breakfast. And got more than got more than he asked for with that hook in the jaw. Yep. Yep, that's a pretty good fish right there, y'all. Bring him in. He's got this back line back here, but that's fine. Got down there and spun circles around it. There we go. Get that mess untangled there. Let's hold him up. <laughs> that's a pretty good fish right there, y'all. Like I said, this section of the river here, this time of year, has served me well historically, even though I haven't been here this year or last year but uh, fish man they're just you figure them out over the course of time and you can kind of follow those patterns you know it's a predictable behavior I'm thankful to hook into this one though he was a good time man he fought hard all right let's let him go see ya get out of here there you go all right y'all I'm gonna get repositioned rebaited We'll try to do it again. Well, there's the replacement for the bait that the fish ate. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out these other two baits too, just because, like I mentioned, I've just been getting tapped constantly all the way down through here. So these baits are probably chewed up. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put some fresh pieces on. Let's see if that don't help our calls. All right, y'all, I've come back up here to the top and I'm gonna make another pass down this ledge. That first pass, wasn't really productive as far as numbers go. Only got those two fish, but I did get that one that was pretty good quality. So I'm certainly thankful for that. But on the way back up through here, I talked to that boat that was behind me. Those fellows are from Kentucky and they actually recognized me from this YouTube channel. So shout out to you guys. Thank you again for watching the videos. But they had got six or seven fish, smaller fish, as they made their way down through here. So uh, hopefully this next pass will be a little bit more productive for me. Like I said before, I was getting a lot of dink taps, but I wasn't getting fish hooking up. So hopefully this second pass will be a little bit better for us. And if not, I think what I'm going to do is instead of coming back up here and making a third pass, we'll just keep working our way downstream and just keep working this main channel ledge on down. But we'll just kind of have to wait and see, see how this pass goes and see what it does for us. Oh, here goes this rod. Here goes this one, man. Let's pick up Oni. Oh, yep, he's on there. Yeah. Cover a little distance here on the second pass. Nothing really happening. Occasional tap. This one here is hooked up. I'm up here and take a look. I don't don't think this one here is going to be the same quality as that last one that we got no this one here is just another dink it's action though 
All right, that little fella there threw our bait off. Little thing. It's all right though, I got plenty of bait today, so not a problem. We'll put us another piece on there, and keep working down this ledge. Another chunk going down, and that's on a Carolina rig, y'all. I know I don't generally talk about my rigs and stuff on these videos just because I've talked about it so much over the course of the last few years that I've been doing YouTube. I hate to rehash the same things over and over and over again every single video, but uh, we got that on a Carolina rig today. Usually, when I am drifting or trolling, I really like the knocker rig, but because I'm lazy and I didn't want to retie all my rigs and ch change everything over, I just stuck with the Carolina rig that I had on these rods for my anchor fishing because that is my preferred rig when anchoring down. So that's what's on there today. That's eight ounce sinkers. Uh, just I like a heavier sinker, really regardless of whether I'm anchoring or drifting or trolling. It, it's especially helpful on a day like today where I'm drifting because if you get some wind, oftentimes you'll get that pendulum effect with your baits and that heavier sinker just helps keep your bait down there right there where you want it, right there in the strike zone versus letting it rise way up in the water column if you're using a lighter weight sinker. So anyway, that's my rig and again I know I just I need to talk about that stuff more but I just don't. But I do have several videos on my channel just specifically talking about my rigs if you're interested. See that right there, folks? People's always asking me, where you get them skipjack at? They out here in the water, folks. You spend your time in, you just run into them. I don't have my skipjack gear with me today, but they chasing shad all around me here. I think this one might be hooked up. Yeah, he is. I've had more of the same, y'all. Just dink tap after dink tap all the way down through here but no solid hookups if i was using smaller baits smaller hooks undoubtedly i'd just be catching fish after fish but i'm trying to trying to eliminate that if possible i'm out here today hoping to hook into some whoppers i'd like to have these little ones especially fish this size Heck, that didn't even get hooked. That one's, look at that right there. He's tail hooked himself. These fish. This right here, folks, this is an example of what's been down there just plaguing me this morning and tearing up my baits and stripping them clean. This size right here, when you got a 10 aught size circle hook and a big chunk of bait, you can see the size of the mouth. He's not going to get that bait and the hook too. I mean, occasionally they might hit the hook just right and get hooked up, but most of the time they just going to sit down there and just shred your baits to pieces. This one here probably got on my bait, felt the tension and started rolling and hooked himself in the tail. So, <laughs> little devils. That one, he took the bait, he knocked the bait off either knocked the bait off or had stripped the hook about clean before he got hooked up with it. But nevertheless, we'll put another piece on there. But what I'm gonna do this time, I'm about down here at the end of where I was gonna drift to. And so this time, instead of uh, going back to the top, I'm gonna keep going. I'm having to supplement my speed with the electric motor here. I don't have any current out here this morning, but when I got out here first thing, there was a light breeze blowing downstream and it was perfect. It was moving me like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, which is Kind of slower than what I had wanted, but it was good enough, good enough to drift with. But that breeze has since died off completely, so I've been supplementing my speed here just to be able to cover some water. But uh, once I get baited up here again, we're just going to keep working our way down and just follow this main channel ledge on down here for a little piece. All right, y'all, I'm getting ready to wrap it up. Thankfully, the weather held off this morning and allowed me to fish for a few hours. The sun's actually out right now. But unfortunately, there just wasn't a lot of action to be had. I got that one nice fish, which I'm certainly thankful for. It was a lot of fun, but just couldn't get anything else to go with it that was of any decent size anyway. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go home and rest for a little while. It's a Thursday when I'm filming this video, and I've been fishing a local bass tournament trail on Thursday nights. They've got a little tournament series from Thursday 6 to 9 p.m., and I'm hoping to fish that tournament tonight, but... With this weather, it's going to be a 
game time decision on whether or not they have that term. If these storms are rolling through at that time, they'll end up canceling it. But the plan is for me to go fish that thing tonight if possible. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video today and at least what little action there was. We'll do it again soon. I'll see you then.